Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your early morning. Late out of dates. Raw. Review. So Raw happened. Some people are praising this show. I'm just thinking to myself, why are people praising this show? This show was not good at all. I don't know. I, it's just not watchable, you know? Oh, but something happened, you know? We'll talk about it. But it's like, at the same time, do you really care? You know, do you really care? Oh, a new world, new, not new world champion, a new champion. Whatever. Okay, so what else happened? And what you, what's going to happen even if he's the champion? You know what I mean, folks? It's just like, okay, oh, one little title change. And it's like, whatever. And you just like it gets you questioning, like, what does, well, we'll talk about it, man. It's just like, what do people gain from this? We're going to talk about it. Okay, so the show started. Anyways, grab your Coca-Cola, drink my Nestle Spy Miss Pitchco. Oh, shit, oh, shit. I already pour myself magnificently. Cheers. I'm at the stage of my life where I just really don't give a fuck about Raw. Honestly, I'm more outgoing, especially where we're almost in the winter time or, the, you know, the colder weather's coming out. So, other than that, we're just, you know, I'm just, I don't really give a fuck about Raw. I don't. Or wrestling in general, because wrestling just sucks. The show started. So, here's the most confusing thing about this show. And this is the problem. So, WWE, they seemingly botched their opening segment. They opened the show by showing a graphic that, oh, it's going to be Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley at Bad Blood, but Dominic's going to be in a shark cage. And guess what happened? They, unless that was a botch, what happened was eventually we get the opening segment with Liv, Dom, and Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley is, says, oh, you know, Dominic, you're going to be where you belong, behind uh, behind uh, bar doors, because you will be in a shark cage. And they were so like, oh, what? They just showed a graphic before the before this stupid segment. Unless that was a botch. But again, you had the Joe Testosterone, the Joe Testosterone motherfucker said like, oh, it's going to be a real Ripley versus Liv Morgan in a shark cage match or something. And it's like, we've been known this is going to happen. They said it on the show. I mean, they said it on the graphic. I wish that was a botch. But again, it, I, sure, maybe they didn't do this to the people watching at, uh, at the show. But for the people watching at home, we're like fucking surprised. And this was actually one of the things I actually saw before I went out, uh, out in the town just to, you know, be with buddies or whatever. I mean, I did watch the show on my phone too. Because again, my buddies, they are for fans of wrestling, but they know how shit the show is. We know how shit the show is. Is it really worth staying home or staying at your buddy's home to watch this crap? What I do nowadays really is just I go to like play pool now. I really just go play pool. You know, and also I'm watching the fucking, was it the Blon Falcons versus the Blancos or something? At the bar, like, who really cares about this shit? You know, like, I'm playing pool. It's more fun to do than fucking Kingdom with shitty fucking faggy wrestling. God, wrestling sucks. But but let's go. Like, Liv Morgan says, okay, okay, now. I mean, I know you guys might not know what we just did, but we just did a victory lap. We're winners. None of you guys are winners. Motherfucker, didn't you guys lost last week? Like. Y'all lost at the pay-per-view, and now you guys lost last week, and how y'all winners? How did that shit make any fucking sense? Because if, 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 I'm, if I'm wrong, didn't Dominic lost last week against Damien? Oh, but they, they closed the show. Guess what, motherfuckers? Yo, look how that fucking went away, how that mystique went away that, oh, you guys ended the show last week standing tall and look what happened this week it's never consistent so why should i care as a viewer but that's the thing it happens every fucking week they're never consistent it's like they forgot what the fuck they're doing last week it's like they don't pay attention really like are you guys have do you guys have alzheimer's like Vince McMahon? god for people that say triple h is cooking he's better booker than vince like you guys are retarded and if you really think Triple 
he's just such a bad booker. Who the fuck taught him? Hmm? Who the fuck taught him? Lindmore says, I promise to take everything for Rhea Ripley. That's actually why I did. And uh, the Red Red Storm would continue on. And then Lindmore, because I'm like, honey, don't worry. I'm not going to beat you behind you. Because you always got behind me from my back. But I want to tell you something. You hear, Lev? And then, like, uh, I don't know. Um, and then, like, and then, oh, I have something that you need to tell you. And then Dominic shows up and get it. Oh, I, it looks like you had your house. You found your balls. What are you going to do? Are you going to make... Uh, nothing because I'm gonna out uh, get out of my face before I make you get out of my face or whatever. Then Liv Morgan talks like, huh, you know, uh, you know, if you stay, you know, maybe Dominic would have stayed with you if, um, you know, weren't uh, bash on knees and weren't caring much as uh, that Damien instead of him. So get it? Oh, she likes Damien actually. Uh, whatever. And then Liv Morgan's uh, like, oh, you know, I, I know you're not clear, but you know, I, 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 I want you to be in the match because I'm gonna prove that not only I'm, um, you're bigger, I'm bigger than you or stronger than you, but I'm smarter than you. Okay, so how does this make any fucking sense? Saying that, oh, how she's bigger than her, clearly she's not. If she's trying to phrase that she's not gonna, if she's trying to phrase that she doesn't have to be the bigger or stronger person. She should have said that instead of like, it's not because I'm big. So you're insisting, citing that you're bigger and stronger. So it's like she doesn't really know how to speak figurative language. She's just all about the weed, right? Like this, drop the weed, you know? That's something you don't need to be fucking popping on your mouth. You know, it should probably be some fucking, you know, should be something large, you know? You know how I mean? But then Lydia is like, that ah, just sound like, no, I'm gonna, because when it comes to my blood, I'll pull a cloud. And I'm gonna do something that I, and Dominic, you will always, since you like to be in everyone's business, you're gonna be inside where you are supposed to be, behind bar doors, in a shark cage, and then, ah, we're something excited, a shark cage match, you know, that is the most uninteresting, shittiest fucking match idea I ever heard in my life. That's been the shittiest idea from beginning of time, whenever they decided this whole match concept to do it lately. They've been, I remember they first did this match idea back in like, what, 2017 or something? And it's like, the shittiest idea, a shark cage match. Wow! Who the fuck cares? You know, they're always going to try to get away from that shark cage, right? Or... No one's gonna really care about it. So who cares? And then, and then like real, oh yeah, I lied and she headbutts Liv and oh wow. And that's the end of it. So much for last week with their oh, we're ending of the show. First match, Sami Zayn defeats Ludwig Kaiser in a match no one cares about and this was longer than it needed to be. Ludwig Kaiser is clearly the fucking guy who just, like it should be the one who Gets beat up, right? Because he's the lackey of Gunter. Yet, he's already enough to be get beaten. Uh, yet, he can survive 50-50 with Sami Zayn. Like, how does that make any fucking sense in the logic of wrestling? When the guy is supposed to be a future world champion contender, Sami Zayn, and he can't even beat the fucking lackey. What are we doing here? And this is such 50-50 booking gar garbage. But again, this is long match bullshit, huh? Sami Zayn defeats whatever, the lackey. And then Gunter's like, You know what, Sami? I actually thought about it. You know, uh, after thinking about it, you know, we should actually have the match. Uh, we should actually have it tonight. Because I say, no. So get it on. He was about to give the match. He was already fully, like, ready for the match. And he said, no. So God forbid, I guess, to make, you know... It's just like, wow, great, give, like, t let the fans know you're not going to give them something good and exciting. You're just going to piss all over them. And fuck giving people on, you know, who watch the show at least some little bit of treatment to watch the show for. Even though I'm not saying that anybody really cares about, about Sami Zayn Sammy Zay versus Gunter. But, like, God forbid, if you're going to hype something up, which is supposed to be something to make people pretend to care about, who the fuck cares, right? God forbid something like that uh, to make you care about. Even though I don't care for Sandy versus Gunter. But again, why is Gunter being a coward? Why is he scared? Or why is he not accepting? Like, he just beat Randy Orton. 
and he's like scared to give the title match to, to Sammy when literally he should be like worried about like getting his win back if anything to prove why he can be Sami Zayn prove that that match at WrestleMania was a joke like I don't even know the new day they talk about Sage and like you try to clear things up and how they should focus on winning tag titles and blah 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 and then they proceed to challenge the Creed Brothers to a match for some reason because the Creed, Creed Brothers walked by. Oh yeah, how can I forget last week? American Made said they're done with the Wyatts. They're showing them how they're losers and whatever. I don't care. We got Jay Uso vignette. Yo, you Uso, I'm going with Uso. Liv Morgan and Dominic complain to Adam Pearce and she's, he's not changing his mind and then the LWO. She wants to draw LW. I don't give a fuck. Second match, Car the Dragon Lee defeats Carlito. I swear to God, Carlito is just a joke. Like, great. The guy comes back and he just fucking just loses, huh? Then we got Karen Cross walks up to the Miz, preparing for his match with Bronson Reed, and no one cares. And then, uh, great. I guess get it. You know, apparently the whole idea she's gonna turn the Miz is gonna turn heel again. I don't give a fuck, cause that's Karrion Cross's thing. He loses, but that gives curses to people. Like I don't, I don't get that. How is that credible? That's just dumb. It just makes him look stupid. Like can he spread the curses to make him win? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Bronson and Reed, Braun Strowman before the Liv Morgan segment, they throwing each other around. Wow. How did they not do that the entire show? I don't know. Not that I care. The Miz uh, loses a uh, low contest with Bronson Reed versus The Miz because it was supposed to happen, but Braun Strowman comes out and, you know, they brawl around each other and, yeah, whatever. Shane McKenna interviewed and I'm not done with Butch. Then we get Drew McIntyre promo. He basically rephrased what, what Punk said. And, um, like last week, he said, I promise I'm going to make you bleed. I'm going to promise you have to kill me. I prepared for this to the end of CM Punk. If it is prepared for me to this in the end of Drew McIntyre. I've been talking to, uh, about Punk's words all week. And not just the words, but look at his eyes. He meant every single word for once. You were real. You were truthful. You were ready to sacrifice the air, but so am I. I'm, I'm, I'm always telling the truth, and I've always been honest. But especially when it comes to Punk, I'm usually going to keep things personal to myself because I'm, uh, I fight a, a great cause, and I'm putting it out there that you uh, that you want to put out there. Punk, I put it out there. I don't want to step back inside her in the cell. I've been in that match more, and I have broken things that hasn't been fixed to this day. Your sister begged you not to do your wife begging your family, but my family begged for me too. It's gone too far. My wife begged me for once to get away from you, but because that she can see what she's doing to her husband mentally, it doesn't matter what y'all think. It doesn't matter about our families think. It doesn't matter what we think. It matters to everybody, blood. And I promise you, on my own promise, I promise I will make you bleed a lot. I promise I'll make you suffer and feel a lot of pain and more than I've ever felt in the entire existence. If it's appropriate, you compare yourself to the devil again. Last week, there's always been good versus evil, hasn't it? Of course, you have compared yourself to the supernatural being. You always see yourself as a godlike figure, but you're just a man. A man that broken so easily in the past, and I will break it permanently inside and on the cell. It's not a bad promo, but it's like he rephrased what Punk said, and great, it's an empty promise match. Like, where they're both promising to do things. Not that McIntyre necessarily say he's gonna win this match, but like, it's like they're both promising each other things that they won't, might not even accomplish. Because we know there's gonna be a winner in this match, and we know that one person's gonna probably walk out of it. So, how are you guys gonna really be hurt? Unless you guys have to be carried out, then sure, that makes sense. I don't know. Well, guess what next week, guys? We're going to have last monster standing with Bronson Reed and Drew Matt, with Bronson Reed and Braun Strowman. Whatever happened to building things to a pay-per-view? Why not do this match at the pay-per-view? Like, I understand sometimes they're trying to make people want to watch Raw. I give credit to that. But, like, at the same time, shit like this should be safe for the pay-per-views. What are we doing? Same thing with, like, the title match in the main event. Or unless you're going to do a rematch. Like, uh, that's the only reason you should be trying to do these title matches. Like, too, I don't know. Pete Dunn, Mr. Tox, uh, Seamus with a cricket bat. Stop calling me Borch. Great, he's so like, oh, how do you call me Borch? Damage control, they defeat the unholy union, whatever. Then we get some stupid promo, a vignette of 
the damn the the man faces and the lesbian what is it the pure fusion color, whatever the fuck the guns out whatever who cares Braun Breaker is like today a game day and I'm gonna walk I'm gonna be a bear to go beat up the world and Uso we get a late recap of Cody and Roman Reigns confrontation from SmackDown just to waste time. The New Day loses to the Creed brothers, and then the code, and then Xavier's angry at the LWO. I was like, you know, I, you, I want to be single shape. I want my chance for once. I know I'm going to challenge you, Ray. And like, oh, whoopie do. We get Dame Priest promo. He's speaking in Spanish and English. You know, I, you know, we used to be a family. Now we're not family. Why are you speaking Spanish? No one can understand. Where's the subtitles even? Fuck. I would destroy you, Dom, or whatever. Now in the main event. Yeah, oh yeah, they're trying to hype up Bronson versus, uh, Bronson versus, uh, Braun in a fucking Godzilla King Kong style. It's so stupid. Retarded. And the main event, Jey Uso defeats Braun Breaker for the Intercontinental Championship in the main event. And they're, like, running low on time, so they clearly rush this celebration. Listen, I don't hate you, Jey Uso, but it's like, why did he win? Or... Why do you win in a fashion where Braun, 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 Braun Breaker kind of look a bit weak in the end? Like, he, Braun Breaker lost to Sami Zayn, and now he lost to Jey Uso. To me, I kind of could buy Jey Uso beating more than fucking Sami Zayn. Because in, like, kayfabe, Jey Uso beat Roman Reigns before, pinned him before, and he almost, like, close to beat fucking Roman Reigns. Not that, like... That's actually something legit to say, because like, you had Sammy almost be Roman, sadly. That's so, so stupid. But, like, the thing is, why did this happen not in the pay-per-view? Why didn't they sh have this happen at the pay-per-view to give you a reason? And it's just like, why is Braun Breaker not, I don't know, booked strong enough, I would say? And what what's the reason for this? Like, what's the reason why, why did they take the title off him anyways? I'm not saying he's a problem to have Jey Uso have a little bit of title reign, but why did this need to happen without proper big build-up, honestly? I mean, what they did, their confrontation last week, fine, but it's like, it's whatever. What, you're going to give the title back to Braun? Like, uh, I, I don't know, but it's like, why? What's with Braun? Like, Braun should be an unstoppable badass force. And yet he's losing to Jey Uso, who's like, yee, yee, yee. And he has his sloppy spears. Not saying he has bad spears, but it's like he's sloppy. Like, what are we doing here? Like, are they going to do a rematch of the pay-per-view? And again, what's the reason with Braun Breaker? Why is Braun Breaker losing? Braun Breaker should be a, this badass, unstoppable guy. And he's using the Sami Zayn. What, is there something wrong with his status at Triple H? I mean, you know that's probably an issue. But it's like, the fucking problem with the main event, the fine match, I guess. But it's like, the problem is in the main event, it's like, they kept fucking up, like, like they, they kept fucking up with the timing, and it's like, what are they doing with Braun Breaker? But Jey Uso, like, really, did he need to win? Oh, yeah, the, um, you know, Sammy, like, he confronted him, or like, you gotta do this, man, I believe you. I don't know. Unless, like, you know what made some sense? Why not Sammy been out there if Gunther tries to be, and there can be some bullshit that can lead to be Braun Breaker being angry. Something like that. That can even lead to a future Braun Breaker, Sammy. Not saying he should be with Sammy again, but he should have a problem with Sammy, and then he could have a problem with Gunther. Something with Gunther and, Gunther and Braun in the future to open up the door for a future match with that for the world title, even. Is that so hard? Just to keep them looking strong. Shit like this should only happen to pay-per-view. I don't know, man. Whatever. I don't know. That's what happened. The show was pretty boring in all honesty. McIntyre promo, fine. But it's like the same shit, really. And the main event, whatever. But other than that, the show's just boring. Okay, I don't understand why people are saying the show's so good. Because it's just boring, work rate garbage match with no stories. That's what I'm going to say. Just keep your good games closed. My news is fine. These bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. That's what I'm going to say. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.